Guitar and Excel, Open Chords, C Major Scale, E Minor, Three Chord, Worksheet. Get ready, because although it's not fun to either fret or be bored, it is fun when you put them both together, resulting in the fretboard. Because the fretboard gives you something to play with, which eliminates the boredom and distracts you from the stuff you were fretting about. So let's do it. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet, but we started in a prior presentation. So if you want to build this from a blank worksheet, you may want to begin back there. However, you don't necessarily need access to this workbook if looking at this from a music theory standpoint, because we will simply use it as a tool to map out the fretboard, give us the scale and chords that we're focused in on. If you do have access to this workbook though, there's currently like six tabs down below. We've got five examples tabs and an OG orange tab. The OG orange tab representing the original worksheet that we put together in a prior section mapping out the entire fretboard giving us the entire musical alphabet in letters, numbers, and combining them both providing a key that can be changed which will allow us to easily change the scale constructions that will create our worksheets on the right hand side providing the scale and the chord constructions that can be built from that scale. We then wanted to focus in on the C major scale and the chord constructions from it in open position, starting, of course, with the one chord, the C chord. That's what we did in this first green tab. We're looking at open position, which I'm defining as frets one through three, remembering that this top string is the low or heavy string that is closest to the ceiling. I think that's actually the easiest way to visualize it. We mapped out the C fingering position and then we analyzed it on top of chord constructions in depth. And then we went to the F, which is the four chord. When we're looking at a construction from a C major scale, we skipped the two and the three chords because we wanted to focus on the one, four, five first those being the major chord constructions and therefore having similarities uh, between them, more similar than the minors. Then we did a similar process jumping to the G, which is the five chord when constructed from the C major scale. We jumped to the five for a similar reason because it's gonna be a major chord. And here's the fingering, we talked about it in detail. We then are going back to the minors. Not that the minors are easier than the majors. This isn't baseball here. We're going to the minors, which is uh, the minor chords as opposed to the majors. <laughs> so we went. now we're going back to the two chord and we discussed the two chord in depth in open position here. And now we're gonna go to the next minor, which is the three chord, which is an E. So our process will be, we'll first construct the worksheet. If you're not big into Excel, you can watch this just for the theory components of it, but we will do a lot more Excel stuff within it. And then we'll use that worksheet to get more into detail about the topic of uh, this chord and the construction of it, and then it being on top of, or looking at it in relation to the pentatonic scale of the key of C and the major scale of the key of C and so on. So this is what we'll actually build this time, constructing it from the OG tab. So let's go to the OG tab and build it out. The OG tab is constructed so that it has our fretboards in just numbers, and then it has the fretboards numbers and letters, and then it has our key construction to the right. And then we constructed it so that underneath we have all of the, uh, the, the related modes in the same key that we picked, in this case, the key of C. So we want to adjust that a little bit because I want to look at the same scale, the key of C over and over again. So we'll do the same kind of thing we did last in the prior tabs. I'm going to hold down control, put my cursor on the OG orange tab, left click and drag it to the right. So here's our starting point. I'm going to scroll back a little bit. I'm zooming out. So because uh, it's, I think it's a little bit easier to do this when you can see it a bit better. I'm going to select this whole thing. I'm going to unspecial format this by going to the home tab, style group and conditional formatting. Let's remove all of the colors. And then uh, I want to make sure the key is in the key of C. So it is with that green thing right there is a four. So it's in the key of C. And then I'm going to just look at the first three 
uh, um, uh, frets. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to try to move this up here so that it'll be. It'll actually. I want to move it below right there. Okay. And then I'm going to hide from one. Actually, let's hide this way first. Let's hide the frets. Let's go from E over to our worksheets on the right hand side. And I'll right click and hide all that stuff. Don't need all that stuff. So now we've got our fretboard. I'm going to scroll in a bit. Fretboard is right next to our worksheet. I don't want the thing this way because it would be cool if I could see it that way because it's a lot cleaner. It looks like a it looks like an Ahsoka board. A so no, that's the Jedi. It's a Sudoku Sudoku board, but we don't want that. So I'm going to remove that because we're not there yet. That's uh, so we'll just hide that. So I'm going to hide all that stuff. And so now we've got our uh, C major chord construction up top. And so then I'm going to actually before I do that, let's undo that. Hold on a second. Sorry. I'm going to scroll back out a bit. And I'm going to copy this whole thing from uh, cell one on down to this cell. So I'm going to the bottom of this blue to 25. Control C or right click and copy. And I'm going to paste that on top so that I can repeat just the same C, uh, C scale worksheet all the way down. Got to do that first. Must do that first. Got to get things done in order. Or everything, everything falls apart. Your whole life just crumbles before your eyes because you, did, you didn't do it in the right order. Okay, so now we can eliminate, now we can hide the Ahsoka, the Ahsoka table, the, Sudo the Sudoku table. We're going to select 1 to 12, right click and hide. Okay, so there we have that. I'm going to scroll in a little bit and I'll do the same thing down here. So I'm going to hide this table with the numbers. So I'm just going to hide from here down to here. I'm looking at the bottom of this blue. That's why I picked 26 and right click and hide that. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here, going from the bottom of this blue, 52. Blue 52, blue 52, and right click and hide. And then I'll do the same down here, low mismo, the same thing. Again, hiding the number ones, hide, right click, where did the hide thing go? And then this one will hide from here down to there, from here to there, right click and hide. And then I think one more time, Uno vase mas por favor hide. Oh, uh, that wasn't the last time. You were wrong. Sometimes I pretend to be wrong just to just to sh make people feel better because <clears throat> I'm not usually ever wrong. But in any case, now we're going to go back up top and we're going to say that this is going to be the three and. So we'll put this over to here. And so now I'm just going to map out. I'll scroll in a little bit so we can see it. We'll map this out on our fretboard. So in open position. So I'm going to select these and I'm going to go home tab, styles, conditional formatting, and make this, uh, the, the, this is going to be like my root. So I'm going to make that green. So this is the same process. I'm, this is going to be the one, three, five. One's green. The three is going to be red and the five yellow. Remembering that this one, three, five does not represent this scale. It's the one, three, five as though I'm looking at an, an E, uh, an E scale. We'll talk more about that later, but that's the same similar kind of process. We're mapping out. There's the one. And in relation to that one, if we're looking at an E minor, the three is going to be not four, but three. I'll make that yellow just to indicate that it's going to be three notes away. So, and, and that's going to be, I won't get into that. You're getting into theory stuff. You're just building the worksheet right now. Don't get ahead of yourself. You're out of order. You're out of order. The, the cart is before the horse. But sometimes the horse likes to push the cart up the hill with its nose because it maybe its shoulders were getting tired. So it was like he still wanted to work, but he thought it would be better if the horse pushed the cart up with its nose. So in any case, then I'm going to put, then I'll conditional format this down to here and then we'll conditional format this down to here. And to do that, you have to put the cart before the horse. That's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you might want 
sometimes the horse you might be able to relax relax the horse's shoulders if you put the cart in front of the horse and let him push it up the hill with his nose right i mean is that so hard is that so hard to believe whatever i'll set my cart up the way i want to set my don't tell me how to set my cart up my horse has a strong neck strong neck muscles that's why it pushes the cart up with its with its nose anyways then on the second one down here i'll i'll say the pentatonic is going to be this 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 and then these two and then home tab font group and i'll make this green and so now we'll map out the pentatonic scale so look remember i'm mapping out the pentatonic scale in the key of c not the key of e minor but because we're looking at everything in relation to the key of c at this time so i'm going to say all right let's go and let's make these all green because that's what our practice has been so i'm going to make uh, let, let's do let's pick the thing first c and make that green make it green make it green excel make it green whoa that was cool all right let's make it all make the whole thing green do the next one make that one green excel make it green oh, oh wow do it again do it again make the e make it green excel and excel just does it whatever you want excel's like whatever you want make the not the f make the uh make the g green excel not the f okay excel's like whatever whatever you want i'll make the make the a green and there's our pentatonic shape that we've seen multiple times same pentatonic shape we've been building every time because we're looking at everything from the key of c even though we're looking at the chords that are constructed within it now remember that these chords that we are constructing have been constructed from all seven notes in the C major scale. And all we did was start at any particular note, like this one being the E, we skipped every other note. So then we skipped to a G and then we skipped to a B. Because we used all seven notes to construct these chords, if we then eliminate two notes to go from a seven note major scale to a five note pentatonic scale, then uh, we might have some notes in the chord constructions that don't fit within the pentatonic scale, but would fit in the major scale. Now, if we did create a pentatonic scale related to the E minor, then it would fit within there. But we're looking at this chord as the three chord within the scale of the C major scale, losing two of those notes, the four and the seven, to see it within the pentatonic scale. So that means that this B right here, all, all of that, means that this B right here is uh, going to be outside. And so I'll make that a different color. I'm going to put a like a yellow thing around it. So and then we'll have a B up here. So let's so what I'm going to do now is is color this one. This colors now our normal 135 colors. So this is going to be equal to the one is uh, an E. So I'll make that green. I'll make that green and then the five, I'm going to say that's going to be equal to the G and I'm going to make that uh, red. And then I'm going to say this is going to be equal to the B and I'll make that yellow. There's our one, three, five. And then uh, so so we have that. And so there's the chord within it. Now I'm going to go back up top again and let's just map out uh, the actual shape. So if I was to play an E, the, the, the notes that we hold down on the guitar are going to be uh, this one. This is an E minor, by the way, not an E, an E minor. And then we hold down this. So it's a very easy thing to play in open position. We want to visualize it uh, as as a bar chord as well, even though we're not going to be putting our finger on this, we'll talk more about this later, because it's in open position. But when we move it up, this is a classic minor bar chord shape, right? So we're going to say, okay, let's copy this. What's also ringing out is this open one right there. 
and we know that this is going to ring out and this is going to ring out and this is going to ring out. Now you don't have to play the entire thing and when you move up the bar chord we don't have to move the whole thing up. We'll talk more about that later but there it is. So then I'm going to copy these copy these selecting all of them control C control V and let's just scoot this whole shape down on top here so we can see it there and then but then these yellow ones need to be on top to show that that's the special note that's outside it's outside of of the pentatonic it's breaking the rules it's outside of the of the norms of the societal rules of the c of of the c scale it's a rebel these are the rebels out there doesn't necessarily okay anyways so then we're going to say that this let's make this one uh e and let's make this one red and then we'll make this one uh orange all right so there's there it is mapped on top of 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 uh uh the pentatonic now let's do it let's map everything on top of the major scale so we'll map it on top of the major scale so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to make everything blue first just so we can recognize the c major scale not the related we're not doing an e minor major scale uh, um, e minor scale we're doing the same scale that we've seen every time and look and then building this thing within it seeing that these three notes are constructed from the notes that are in this blob which is going to be the c major so we're seeing it in terms of scales right now so we're going to go up top and say let's make it all everything is going to be blue excel everything that c make it blue make it blue and then we're going to go okay and then we want to do it again. Can't you do it at the same time, Excel? I don't know how to do that. You would think you could. You, you would think you could, but I haven't figured that out yet. If I find that, and I have looked into it because it has annoyed me, as I'm sure it annoys you to watch this. Like I, you, you, you would think I could just select all these cells and be like, do, do the whole thing with like a formula. And I can't really do that, that I know with this conditional thing. Right now, if anybody knows how to do that, I would be very interested to figure it out because I haven't been able to figure it out. And uh, so whatever, but still you can do it this way. And so that was a G and then this is gonna be an A and then the last one is going to be uno vase moss enjoy it this is the last one we get to do this on the b boom is going to be blue all right so there's our classic shape that that we're building of all the notes so these are just all the notes so you could learn this as a scale we'll talk about it more as scales in future presentations but basically all the chords that we're playing now you're starting hopefully you're starting to see this the c the f the g the d the e if we put them all together and on the one spot on the fretboard here you basically end up with this blob shape so we want to see it in we want to see things in terms of the chord constructions first because that's kind of the funnest thing to do and then we'll we'll talk about our scale shapes, but then we'll start the scale shapes in the middle of the guitar so that we're learning a different space in the guitar, kind of a different way. And then we'll blend everything together and relearn stuff from different angles. It's going to be crazy. But now let's put on top of this, the uh, just my notes on top of this. So this will fit perfectly into here. So we're just going to, because we built this from the seven notes in the scale, right? So we're just going to say, all right, the one, three, five of the E minor, equals the E, it's going to be the green one. And then this is going to be the G, it's going to be the red one. And then we're going to say this is going to be equal to the B, and it'll be the yellow one. And there it is. So now we fit that in there. And I'll just copy the formatting from here, copy the formatting back to here, this formatting right there, we'll copy it back. And then this formatting, right, not that one, that one copy that over and then I'm just going to copy my shape up top let's copy it from here this 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 
This is my fingering. I'm going to copy all that and I'll paste that shape down here and just drag it on top. So hopefully that fits, right? So so that works, right? So now you can see how it kind of fits within uh, within this uh, this scale. So that so we can construct it from uh, the scale. So now let's do it again, but this time let's build the whole the whole my, the whole major scale and then put the pentatonic notes on top of it, and then. Uh, and then we'll put these notes for the E minor on top of that so we can see how they all kind of are intertwined together. That'll be good. All right, so I'm going to start the same way. I'm just going to I'm just going to make everything blue first, making the same major scale shape. So I'm going to say, "All right, conditional formatting, everything's blue again." You just did this. I know I did, but repetition is helpful. And this is the ground floor basis uh, point. This is like the bot. This is like the bottom, with everything's included. Everything's included here, and we have to see that from a layered perspective this time. So we're going to say this is going to be blue, and then okay, and then this one's going to be blue. Blue, feeling blue. Doo doo. This one's gonna be blue. I had a song developing in my head, but the tune will not will not manifest itself at the moment. So I'll stop singing it because I don't know how it goes. And then this one is gonna be blue as well. So there's our whole blue shape of the major scale. Remember C major scale that we just built here. So boom 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 boom. And then uh we'll put the pentatonic which we did in the green up top. We'll put it on top of it, which means it's going to fit directly on top because it's just the same thing except we eliminated the 4 and the 7 cuz they're not cool or else they're too cool. I don't know if they're not cool or if they're too cool, but whatever for whatever reason, they're not in the group man they're not in the in crowd so we kicked them out or they left or whatever i i'm not getting into the backstory the drama just it is what it is so we're going to then say that this is going to be equal to this one and we're going to make it green we'll make it green and then we're going to say that this one is this one and we'll make it green and then we'll say that this one is going to be this one and we'll make it green and then we'll skip the f f is out and we'll take this one and we'll make it green and then we'll take the next one and we'll make it green stopping at the a Stopping at the A. Okay, so there we have it. So now you can see the pentatonic scale in green and then the added note uh, notes the F and the B to get to the major scale. Why is that useful? Because the pentatonic scale sometimes when you're switching from chord to chord and whatnot or playing on top of other stuff is more likely to be a safer thing to do. Uh, because for some, for whatever reason, eliminating, well, maybe we'll talk about that more later, but eliminating these notes are, are the notes that are more likely to clash sometimes when you're going and um, when you're kind of moving around. So pentatonic, and then we'll put this on top of it, remembering that, that this, that we're going to have that B that kind of sticks out here because, because this chord we constructed from the C major scale using all seven notes. Uh, and 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 the, and when I look at it on top of the pentatonic, the pentatonic isn't in there because that's one of the seven notes that weren't in the five note cool group. But if I did the pentatonic and major scale in the key of E minor, everything would kind of fit together. But we're looking at everything in relation to the C major. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Let's map this one out. Insert uh, or home, and then. This is going to be an E and we'll make it green. That's our one uh, note. And then we're going to say this is going to be equal to this one and make it red. 
and then we'll say this is going to be equal to this one and we'll make it uh, yellow. So I had to scratch my nose there for a second. I think it's just a nose hair. There's a nose hair acting like a booger, but it's like a phantom booger, but then it's itching. It's causing itching. But in any case, let's put the, let's go home tab format painter and put that here. And then this one is going to be format painter and put that here. And then this one's going to be format painted and put that here. And then we'll put on top of that, this colorful mess. We'll put on top of that. If we were to finger the, the E minor, it would look like that. This is artwork. This is like, this needs to be hung on a wall somewhere. Right? Am I, this is like, and then I'll put the yellows on top of that to indicate that those are that, those bees that are outside the realm of the pentatonic scale. Those are the rebels that don't conform to the C major pentatonic. So if I was to show you this all at one time, it's probably too much going on here. But you can see as we built it on top of each other, you, you might have got something from that, hopefully. If not, it looks cool either way. Uh, so there's that. We have that going for us, which is nice. So then <clears throat> let's do this. Now we'll say, okay, let's, we'll, we'll talk about later it being movable. So if I'm on like the three here, then, then I could move this shape up to the related minors. So if I moved it up, I would move it up to the six and I'm going to make that yellow. We're going Rasta colors here, by the way, not that I'm promoting any kind of whatever Rasta. I'm not, don't know much about Rasta stuff, but red, yellow, green, man. I know that's like, isn't it? That's like Rasta colors. I had some hacky sacks that were that color. Okay. So then, uh, then I'm going to unhide some cells from D to AK, right click and unhide. And then I'm going to go from 12 to AJ, right click and hide. And so now I'm going to look at the full fretboard from one to 11, at least, and look at each of these positions and how, and we'll talk about how we can move this when we later. So I'm going to say, this is going to be my red position here. That's going to be our starting one in open position. So this will be the familiar one. And so I'll just select this whole thing. And we're going to say format paint the shape in there again. Ultra vase. So there's our E. We're going to make that green. And then there's our uh, 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 G. And we're going to make that yellow. And then here is our uh, B. And we're going to make that yellow. Stop saying, uh, what kind of presenter are you? You need to work on that. Work on that. Okay. I'll work on it. I got to stop saying, uh, people don't like that, man. People don't like that stuff. People don't like anything. I. Okay, here we go. So then we're going to say, there's that. And then, and then we can move that up to like the yellow bit here. Cause we're going to go up from four up and then around the horn back to the two. Right. So then if I go up and I'm saying like, well, there's my root note right there. And I'm going up till I find an A on that string. So do, 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 there's the A. So I can make this same shape right here, which is a classic bar chord. What's a bar chord for bar chord? So here we go on that one. And so then let's make this one colored first before you, before you move forward. Uh, this is going to be, uh, the green is E and then the G is going to be, uh, the G let's format paint that as red. And then this one is the yellow. Okay. And then here. I'm going to make this the same one, three, five, but now we're looking at the six chord, which is an A and we'll map it. We'll map it out here. So I'm going to go conditional formatting. Boom. The A is going to be green. 
and then okay and then we're gonna say that like the c is gonna be red and then we're gonna do like the last one an e and we're gonna make it yellow like that and then i'll put my shape on top of that so you can say okay if i move this shape up this shape copy and paste it just boom it fits right there you see and i'll make those yellow now man this is artwork i i f really think i have some talent something going on here with my spreadsheets being better than most modern art uh that can be found these days. in any case let before i move though let's make this uh green and then this is going to be C, and then this is going to be, it's not artwork. You call that artwork? Where's the tomato can? There should be a tomato can, like right in the middle of the screen or something. Anyways, we're going to go from an A, and then I'm around the horn to a D. So here's going to be uh, the, the D. Actually, I need a little bit more room, so I'm going to unhide some cells. From L to AK, right click and unhide. And so we're going to go, there's my D. And then we start over. This is where it starts over uh, on the 12. I'm going to make this Rasta green to complete our Rasta color theme. Rasta green to complete the Rasta color theme. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hide. And then I'll make this a little bit smaller. Okay, and then, so let's do the same thing here. We're going to say, uh, format this to be that one, and it's going to be green. And then we're going to hit the drop down and format the three chord or the three note of the, of the two chord. We're going to make that red, and then... We're going to conditional format and we're going to take the five chord of, of the five note of the two chord. We're going to make it yellow like that. And then I'm going to copy my fingering bar chord, E minor bar chord thing that I had over here and make it on top. But then like make it green to fit my theme color on this side so now we see that movable shape boom now you could also think about this as as related to the oh wait i need to make this i need to complete the color in here this needs to be green and this needs to be red and this needs to be orange okay so now i could think of it like like uh as though as though i was in the key of e minor so let's do that we'll compare that in future presentations so let's just unhide this i'm going to unhide these so i can see my key and then i'm going to unhide these right click and unhide so i could see my key now what i what i want to do is look at if I if I'm looking at this minor here, the E, what I want to what I want to do is look at the related major to it, so that I can so that I can use the same fretboard. So remember that I'm always thinking of the minors as a mode. So I'm trying to say, well, what is what is the E minor related to? What's the related major of that minor? And it, and I won't get into that now in too much detail because we're running long. But I'll just tell you that it's going to be a G, which is an 11. So now we have an 11. And if I look at the construction of a G, then the 6, the 6 of that uh, is our E. And the related mode is the minor mode or Aeolian, which is in E minor. Okay, so, so we'll talk more about that later. I'm just going to construct it based on that. All right, so then I'm going to hide from... Uh, 130 down to 142 right click and hide and then I'm gonna hide uh, let's hide let's go from 14 again 
just to make sure we have the room. I don't think we need that much space this time. But then I'm going to hide not to the major here, but I'm going to I'm going to hide over to the related minors on the right. Right click and hide. Okay. So now now uh, I'm up here. I've got the E minor. So there's my E minor. So that's the point. So I'm going to scroll in a bit. And so I just want to show what would happen if you ha if you thought of not looking at the E related to the C scale, but related to its own scale, the minor scale of uh, E minor, right? And then you can you can start to move up this position and you'll see it's similar. Okay, so let's say that I'm going to say now it's the one chord of its own E minor scale. We have the same construction, E, G, B. And if I do my same Rasta thing over here, well, let's make the whole thing blue this time. So I'm going to map out this whole fretboard uh, in the key of E minor now instead of C major. So let's make all the notes in here blue. So I'm going to say this is going to be blue. And we'll say this one is going to be blue. And then like this one is going to be blue as well. And then like this one is going to be blue too. And then like this one is going to be blue and then that's an a and then the b is going to be blue because it likes the sound of the the double b and then the c is going to be blue because it saw b being blue and it's like that was cool to be blue so c's going to be blue and then the D is going to be blue too. So there we have that. So now you can see in this oh did I get that? The D is the D blue. I think it I think it worked. Okay, so then if you can see this open position here, you can see that that it's a different we have a bit different shape. This shape versus this uh this shape up top. But the 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 three note chord will still fit in it right because it'll still fit in there so now we're going to say insert boom our chord the one note is going to be green and then we're going to say the three note is going to be red and then the five is going to be yellow just like your belly Oh, called you a yellow belt, yellow belly. I don't know what that even means. That's some kind of. Of course, my belly's yellow. I have it. It's hairy, and I have yellow hair, which causes my my belly to be yellow. What are you trying to say? All right. Here we go. So then, let's say this is gonna be. Oh, this is the one, this is going to be the three, and the, f oh, hold on a second, the five. <laughs> Just, uh, God. Oh, notice uh, these numbers are wrong here. This numbering system is wrong. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to fix this in the master one too. So this is going to be equal to the minors up top. So I'll fix that numbering system. Because something was wrong. Whoever programmed this thing messed up because they're an idiot. But don't worry, I'll fix it. Stupid prior person. Prior, the prior pr person in charge here was obviously stupid. Okay, so now that we have the proper numbering system, you can see that the one, four, five is all minors, which is, which is nice to think about because that's the same pattern as we saw in the major construction where the one, four, five was all majors. So it's useful to kind of think about just playing with the one, four, five in the related scale, whether it be major or minor. So, because you'll have similar shapes, right? So this is gonna be the one, four, five. We'll, so, so we'll put this one, we'll make it green. We'll make it green to go with our Rasta theme. 
and then it's on the A, so I'm gonna move, there's my E, I'm gonna look for the A, that's my root note, there's the A, A, O. And there it is, and so we're gonna say, let's make that green, and then I'm gonna select these items and make it our color scheme in here within there, starting with this chord. So we're gonna say this is gonna be the A, is gonna be green, and then the C, is going to be uh, the uh, uh, red. It's just, it already is red. Stop trying to overthink it, man. It's already there. Just go with the flow. All right, I've had an, I've had enough with going with the flow rhetoric. I make the fl I'm going to I direct the flow of stuff. I'm in charge of the flow of things around here. The flow ain't going where it's supposed to. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make this green. And then we can go up to the five with our yellow. And, oh, let's color code this, though. I'm going to color code this. And then this one. And then this one. All right, one more time. And then this is going to be yellow. And then I'll say copy, and then this one is going to be going up to the B, which is just one step up. So there's from our, our root note A to the B. Now this is overlapping, so I won't redo the whole thing. I'll just make this yellow, and then I'll put my shape around it so you can see the shape, hopefully. And we'll talk more about this later. I know I'm doing this fast, but this is the construction that we'll, we'll then discuss more in the future so then we can move it up to there and there's the one four five bar chords if you were playing in the key of e hopefully i got it right but i need to make those all yellow and so we'll just make those yellow bracketed okay so it looks a little messy but hopefully we'll talk more about it later it's going to be great so now i'm just going to go back up top i'm going to i'm going to unhide from N to B I because I because I want to get back to my major scale right click and unhide and I'm just setting it up for to get us ready for next time I'm going from E on over to my major scale construction right click and hide and we have a wonderful worksheet here well constructed even though the, the last person whoever worked on it last time totally messed it up but we fixed we fixed it and then so there's that and then i should probably fix it in the og tab over here so our og tab will be fixed because we had our minor our minor chord is coming f from the wrong spot on one of these uh maybe i'll look at that later i won't get into that now but i'll go to the back oh, let's go back to this tab double click on it i'm going to call it the practice uh, e, my, I'll make it a lowercase m i three chord, and then I'm gonna make this a lowercase m here, and then I'm gonna make this one blue because that's the one we're working on. If you don't have that blue, it's right here. If you want to use that blue, you don't have to. So it looks like that blue when I click off it. All right, we're good to go. Next time, we're good to go.